In my recent video review of the 121GW multimeter from EEV Blog, I mentioned that I really didn't like the included probes uh, due to a variety of reasons. Please see that video for more details. And so what I did is I purchased a great probe master kit that uh, hopes to remedy that situation. So that's what I'm going to review today. Now I could have just purchased the probes instead of a complete kit, but I wanted some of the attachments too. And that's why I ordered this 8043SK. Uh, and then there's a dash and a number at the end, which describes the length of the probe wires, which is pretty neat because you can choo choose uh, longer or shorter than 48 inches. But 48 inches is approximately the length of the stock probes of my multimeter, the 121GW. And uh, it ships in a bubble wrap package like this. And there was a hole in the package uh, uh, at the top here. And there's a little gash here. But it, it includes this very nice, durable case. And so there wasn't any damage at all to it. It also includes a brochure, which talks about their 40 years of history, the fact that uh, their products are made in the USA. You get a little factory shot here, some of the uh, accessories, the part numbers, and then on the back, some contact and uh, guarantee information. And so if we take a closer look at the ex what's the contents of this kit, we can see that uh, it's uh, very nicely padded, both um, on the bottom underneath the probes, and then of course up here at the top end too, so it keeps everything nice and secured. Nothing is rattling around, which is very nice. So I'll just take out all the contents and see what paperwork is included. So we get a card here, test lead engineering since the 1980s. It talks about how the test probes are built on the inside. And then on the back, you can see that they also have scope probes too, which is kind of neat. Then the other card um, is their promise to you. And then they mark off what uh, the 8043SK 48 inch, that was what was shipped. And if we compare the Probe Master probe side by side with the uh, UEI probes that come with the 121GW meter, we can see some basic differences on the UEI probes. They include these little plugs uh, to keep dust out, and there are no such plugs on here. I don't see that as a big difference, but it is a difference. I want to mention that. But you'll notice in my, in my 121GW review, one of the things I didn't like was this humongous strain relief, and uh, it's much shorter on the probe master which is really what it needs to be but uh, the most important difference of all of course is you can see that uh, these are gold plated tips and you only have the stainless steel tips on the 121 gw leads also these leads uh, don't it looks like a rat's nest over here but that's just the way that they're folded uh, these are are folded up in a circular fashion and these were more uh well in kind of shaped like this and then tied off. So that's why it retains its shape a little bit. But uh, the difference in the leads, if I run my fingers across these UEI leads, it has a rubbery feel. These are both silicone, by the way. So they're both very, very soft and malleable, uh, but this has a rubbery feel. In other words, there's a lot of resistance as I rub my fingers across them. And uh, these leads, if I rub my finger, it's smooth as silk. It's, it's very smooth to the touch. I don't see one as being better than the other. It's just a difference that I wanted to let you know. Also, the color is a little bit different. You can see this is a brighter red and uh, this is a little bit darker red. Again, that doesn't really matter to me. Maybe it does to you, but uh, that's just one particular difference. And also uh, the shape of the part nearest to the tip is a bit different. The Probe Master has this more bulby, rounded, uh, dome-shaped uh, part here. And I'm not really sure why it's like this. I've sent an email to the company and maybe before I finish filming this video, they'll reply back and give me the reason for it. Could just be aesthetics, but maybe there's a practical reason. And if I find out, then I'll let you know before the end of the video. The first test is to see how well they fit. Again, these leads came with this meter, but uh, if I plug them in, they go in and they're firm. I would say they're in there tightly, but not super tight. It didn't take a whole lot of force to press them in. If I press them into this meter, it has about the same amount of required force to put them in. And it takes a little bit more force to pull them out. If I plug in the 
probe master here. It takes a lot more force to get them in there. Not all your might, but it does take more force, relatively speaking, uh, to get them in. So it's a little bit tighter fit. And <laughs> to pull it out, it takes a bit more effort. And going into the Fluke 116, well, it seems to take less effort in the Fluke. So I guess the design of this is maybe the width, the diameter of these holes is a little bit smaller than the fluke, and that's why it's easier to push in. I'm not really sure, but uh, that's just one difference. I don't see it as a significant difference, so long as nothing breaks over time, it shouldn't be an issue. And next is continuity check. Uh, I already showed this in my 121 GW meter, but in my review of that, but yeah, light taps, no. Hard pushes, yeah. Bad surface conductivity, again, that's why I don't really like the stock UEI probes. Replacing them with the probe master. And uh, these tips are very sharp, by the way. I'll get, do a zoom a little bit later, but uh, that's why they include these transparent covers on them. Take that off. And do a very light tap. Oh yes. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Look at that, folks. Every lightest little touch letting it just lay it on there. Beautiful. Now, I have high expectations. These are gold-plated, uh, but still. This is the way it ought to be with probes that are included with any meter, especially in the $200, US $200 level, which is what this meter is. Originally, this meter apparently did include gold-plated probes, but due to logistics reasons, they had to change to the inferior UEI probes. But um, uh, all said, if you have this meter and you're unhappy with the surface conductivity, the probe master probes will <laughs> address that right away. And this is important. It's not just a fun test that a lot of people do. Uh, it, it affects how much pressure you have to press on a resistor, for example, if you're taking resistivity measurements, for example. So it does have significance. It's not just a playful thing that some uh, YouTube reviews do. And here we are zoomed in on one of the probe tips. You can see how uh, very sharp uh, this is. This is sharper than the UEI probe tips. And if I push my index finger up against it, it's not needle sharp, so it doesn't penetrate my skin. But if I push really hard, it probably would. It doesn't feel like I'm pushing my finger on a pin. But yeah, if I push really hard, it probably would penetrate the skin. And again, that's why they included these transparent little covers to go over them uh, when not in use so you don't accidentally injure yourself. And zooming in even more, you can see over here on the left, this is the UEI probe tip. And yeah, you can, you can see that it's much sharper on that gold-plated probe master tip. And of course, here's the benefit of having sharper pointed probe tips. You can more easily probe adjacent pins of surface mount components without shorting the probe tip across the two pins. Now, other than the intelligently designed strain relief length, <laughs> which is so much better than the ridiculous length on the UEI <laughs> probes, look at that, it's just crazy, uh, is what's inside. Absolutely beautiful gold-plated banana plugs on both to ensure superior surface conductivity when connected to your meter. Now the light gray material in the handle of the probe is made out of vinyl. And uh, it's pretty neat. It even has the probe master name uh, with raised letters on it, which is a nice touch. And uh, speaking of touching, when I touch it, if I mash down hard on it, it gives a little bit, but it, has, it, it doesn't feel like rock solid hard plastic. Again, it is made of vinyl, so uh, it, is malleable, it moves a bit. And then of course, this is the most flexible part of it. If we just pull it by the leads, we can see it offers just the right amount of strain relief, which is uh, very nice. And I would say it's an improvement over what I saw on the UEI leads. And uh, when I put it in the hand, it just has, um, it has a nice feel to it. And uh, if you're doing a lot of testing, 
just the way it conforms to your hand makes it really enjoyable to use, I would say. And now we have two bags of accessories, so I'll go ahead and just take these out. And in bag number one, we can see we have, out of all of these, I would say the most important are the alligator clips, just because I personally use these the most. But uh, note that they're all gold-plated. Surface conductivity is excellent. Now that doesn't matter so much for these grippers, because when you make a good grip, the gold is less important. But still, it just shows how much better gold-plated contacts are than regular stainless steel. Now these, I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get out of these. These are screw-down terminals. And so if you screw metal on this too much, most likely you would take off the gold plating. But it, it is nice that they are gold-plated. And uh, these guys over here, basically you push on it and it extends out the little tip, which is nice. And uh, then these, unfortunately, are not tip guards, but uh, they actually are for high voltage work. But the benefit of all of them is that uh, they are screw-on, so they don't fall off. So if I take my red, red probe here, for example, it doesn't just push on, right? You have to twist it and screw. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Isn't that a little bit troublesome? Well, maybe, but it's not going to come off. And that's the most important thing. No matter how much you tug on it, it's, it's not going to come off. And that's really the main point here, which is a very nice thing to have. And here's a close-up of the alligator clips. Now, if we zoom in, we can see that the screw terminal, this is the alligator clip, it's not gold-plated. Um, that's not a significant thing because it is screwing on, so the contact uh, will be sound. But uh, the actual probe tip itself, as we showed before, that, that is gold-plated. It's just that this mating part here is not. And that applies to the other parts as well, the screw terminal type, and uh, then this little push clamp also. And the little screw-on high voltage insulator goes on like this. And basically it just keeps less of the probe tip from being exposed like that. So only the very tippy tip of the tip could uh, physically touch something. And that keeps your two probe tips from accidentally crossing at this point. And it also helps in high voltage cases so that uh, it reduces the likelihood of arcing across both probe tips. But if you look on the Probe Master website, I didn't notice until now, but they actually have a tip that is a plastic cover that completely covers the tip. And uh, that would be quite nice to have because uh, I would say that the little transparent plastic tips that you put on, uh, those little guys could, they're very small and kind of easily lost. And so it really would have been nice if this kit would have come with the little plastic piece that extended and covered the entire tip. But uh, that is an optional sale. So if you are contemplating this kit and you want something to completely protect even the tippy tip part, from accidentally jamming into your finger, then you would need to make an optional purchase uh, to get that piece. And in the other bag, we have uh, these two pairs of screw-on parts. Uh, basically, these are just elongated tips. So if you need to sink deep down into something that you otherwise could not reach with your bare probe tip, these will offer you gold-plated tips at uh, looks like a couple inches and uh, this could come in handy at times when uh, something is not easily accessible. And here's a close-up of the tip. It sticks out just a couple millimeters. Just a tiny tiny little bit. And it's just it's it's about as sharp as the probe tips are. Again not needle sharp but quite sharp. You have to be careful with it. And then these are 
little push claws, little teeth that expand out, and uh, that's what these will plug into, actually. And here's a close-up of a little connector inside the tip there. So it would attach onto the probe like this, for example. And maybe you have a breadboard with a circuit on it, and with that little probe tip, you could just push to extend the claws and then clamp it onto a header pin, for example. And then maybe for your ground, you have one of those little guys where the little um, tip comes out, so a little different type there, and you can just find your resistor leg and clamp him onto that. So I would say that these can uh, really come in handy at times when you need to make contact and keep the contact secured on component pins or even IC pins. So we've got a dip IC here, and uh, let's see how well it goes onto a pin. Now this is not powered right now, so, and it clamps, clamps down on there pretty good. So quite nice. You could also opt to just remove your connector here and plug it directly in to a header. And of course there are times when you maybe want an alligator clip instead and that works just as well too. Overall, I'm extremely pleased with this 8043 SK kit. Uh, the wire length of 48 inches is just perfect for me, but the good news is that if uh, anything in this kit is uh, not really what you need, there's a lot of customizability options that you can choose from on the Probe Master website. You can get much shorter leads or even much longer leads. Uh, you can even change the connector style from this right angle to straight through if you like. and. Uh, you don't necessarily have to buy options like this. You don't even need to have the case if all you want is just better probes. Uh, you can buy the probes only. However, I find myself using alligator clips a lot, and I have for years actually, for most of my connections, as opposed to the bare tips. So I would highly recommend buying at least alligator clips if you're only interested in having the probes. Those two options together would be ideal. But I must say that in my testing of this kit, I have grown very fond of these clamp-on uh, connectors here, and also these micro connectors are very, very nice to have. And that's why I really don't regret having purchased this. It comes with a nice hard case as well to keep everything uh, packed away and uh, protected very, very well. Uh, it, these connectors are a little bit tight on the 121GW, but I don't see that as a problem. It's not too tight. It's just a little bit tighter than on the Fluke. But uh, these probes and accessories work well with both meters. It's even a great upgrade if you have a benchtop meter too. So I would, uh, Definitely recommend it, but especially for 121GW users because the subpar surface conductivity and the strain relief that's way too long, it just annoys the heck out of me. So that's why I'm really pleased to have this instead. Uh, I believe I can make better connections, especially when taking resistor measurements, uh, due to most everything being gold plated here. And it really makes a difference, folks. So I hope this information is useful to you. Thank you for watching today and have a great day.